Smith. Thank you very much, um, Concorda. Uh, just really following on from uh, what De Deputy Tobin has just said there, uh, there is the opportunity, and I know, I know Minister, in fairness, you've been very supportive of the Arts and Education Charter and specifically with the Local Arts and Education Partnership. And as you know, in Cavan Monaghan, we had a very good model uh, of that rolling out. And in terms of what uh, Pather is saying there, there is that opportunity for equality proofing and, of course, getting into the heart of primary school kids uh, and their opportunity to engage and act access in arts and cultural activities. Uh, and as you know, uh, that partnership was, uh, or is intended, I should say, for local authorities, ETBs who are at the heart of education. And I know that the Arts Council are very supportive of that uh, notion too. And of course, Dr Katie Sweeney, who is the National uh, Director for the Integration of the Arts. So I'm just wondering, in terms of your budget and your plans for 2017, have you anything specific for the development of local arts and education partnerships, where that could actually be what uh, Pathos talked but there could be uh, rolled in as well. Um, thank you. Uh, well, just, just to say that uh, we have the um, education, uh, the Arts and Education Charter, and uh, we do fund that, uh, and uh, we uh, increased the funding last year. I was able to, to bring it up. I, I just don't have the figure to hand here. So I'm, I'm very committed to it because I think, um, I, 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 you know, I don't think I know that uh, young children who access the arts and uh, um, you know, get get the opportunity to get involved in the arts at an early age, and it's about it's about doing this in the schools. And I think that when you target the schools, uh, that's the best opportunity to to access all of the children. And uh, I know the deputy uh, Tobin, you know, children in disadvantaged areas. So we need to get into all the schools, and and that's that's the best medium, I believe, uh, to um, to get young people involved in the arts. And I just have this figure now: in 2015, support from my department totaled. 129,000 uh, for education uh, for arts and the arts and education charter and that included a payment of 60,000 to the national association of principals and assistant principals for its work in arts and education uh, and uh, like there's the, you know the arts council it contributes funding to a number of organizations as well to assist in the delivery of arts in education projects in schools and to be fair to the arts council they do a lot of work in this area and uh, they also uh, provide uh, support to uh, Portrait Ireland's Writers in School scheme, where writers and storytellers visit primary and post-primary schools. And that's as well as the Bringing to the Book Artist in Residence scheme, which is a children's Books Ireland uh, final, project. Final sh short Just to clarify, uh, Minister, is there any specific plan for the rollout of local arts and education partnership? I accept what you're saying there about six, 60 million for uh, deputies and, and uh, principals, uh, their organisation, which is the creative engagement, which has been ongoing for years. But just in relation to the local arts and education partnership, are there specific plans in the 2017 budget for the development or rollout of that nationally? Yeah, well, there, there, of course, we continue to work with the Department of Education because it's, there are two departments here, and we'll continue to work on that and to develop the Arts and Education Partnership. And I do believe that we need to, uh, you know, we need to support it more. But it's something that uh, I, I, I'll certainly, you know, I, I'm certainly very conscious of, and it's certainly something I will be working on. Thank you, Minister. Question number eleven.